Once in a lifetime, you meet the one person who really cares about you. Hey babe, what's up? Sometimes, that person just so happens to be in another country. No, you didn't wake me, I was just getting up. Yeah, maybe we never actually met, but we were happy just really getting to know each other. I think that might be the dumbest thing you've ever said. What part of that was stupid? There's just no way you have to show a birth certificate just to get on a stupid boat just because it goes to another country. There was a time I couldn't imagine a world without her. So I have Costa Rica this time of year. I'm actually in Canada right now. My friend let me stay in her place in Stansted while she's in France. It's a cute blue house right on the edge of town. I'm like a 30 minute walk from the border. Hey, you're closer than me. I'm like eight hour drive. <laughs> Ooh, eight hours. That's almost enough for me to consider a visit. Almost. That was the moment I realized I didn't want one. The issue is I don't have a car, so I need you to drive me to Canada so that I can tell her that I love her in person and then probably live happily ever after. Fine. But you're paying for gas. Wait, are you serious? Like, right now? Let's go, before I change my mind. Right, yeah. So you were just able to convince your neighbor to drive you to Canada? Yeah, I mean, it's only like an eight-hour drive. He's chill with it. Don't worry. Michael, seriously, maybe this isn't a good idea. Hold that thought. Ted's only three minutes back. Gotta go. Bye. Howdy ho, partner. Here's our loot. You got everything you need to get to Canada? Should be. What about the beer? Aren't you driving? Not for me, for you. I've never seen a guy as relaxed say howdy ho. Oh, no. Can't drink. Need the nerves. Bet you get this. Serotonin's new album. I thought we could listen to it in the car. Really? Can I see it? Hell yeah. No music in my car. Who doesn't like music? But you know, sure she's busy. Everybody's busy on a Sunday. So how do you meet this girl? Oh, the usual. I met her on this game and she tricked me into giving her all my stuff. That's messed up, man. No, but it's, it's cute when she does it. It's like, have you ever been in love before? It's just different when you care about someone. It doesn't matter what they do to you. Just them being there makes you happy. Exactly. But uh, speaking of... No luck? Nope. But you know, I'm sure everything's fine. Once I get into Canada, everything should be smooth sailing. Yeah, well... I'm gonna take the leak before the sailing gets too smooth, so, uh, get your ID ready. Got my ID right here. <laughs> you serious? What? Where's your actual ID? This is an ID. A real one, like, like your driver's license. Oh! I can't drive. But don't worry though. 
I got my birth certificate right here. That's all I need. Now, why would you think that's all you needed to leave the country? Sarah said that's all she needed to get on a cruise. Canada is not a boat. Well then, let's go back to the DMV first. I'm sure they'll be quick. Hell no. What do you mean, hell no? This is the love of my life, man. I need you to do this for me. I can't just sneak through the woods like some kind of Sasquatch. Well, I'm not driving another 16 hours, so if you get back in this car, it's a one-way trip like we agreed. <laughs> Time you meet the one person who really cares about you. Seasons change and time has passed, but I'm still where you left me last. Whiskey drowning. Sometimes, you're lucky enough that person is right next door.